Good morning, family. Welcome back as we continue here on DBS This Morning. We are here to let you know that the People's Tournament has returned. If you haven't already guessed it, we're talking about Blackheart football. They officially launched, and this is what you need to know. To me, Blackheart means more than football, as much as it is, it is football. But again, it's a journey of 17 years. Officially, Blackheart is 22, but missed out on some five years of non-participation. So... She is old enough. I wouldn't say he, because she has, brought, she has brought forward so much things in terms of black hat, in terms of football, and what it has done for this country, not only in terms of football, but a lot has been done. So 17 years of black hat this time around, and we're looking for some thrilling, exciting football this year. Last year, we saw the likes of VFO South do it again, back to back to back. And this time around, it seems to be more interesting. In terms of the 17 years, I think it's a journey, a long journey that Chicks and his crew has taken. I think if, you, if folks remember the program pretty well, you would have heard of before this to be Black Heart, Kashif, and Shanghai. That's a long time ago. And that stemmed from Sheikh's and his counterparts from Guyana because it all started off in Guyana. And then the idea came across to St. Lucia. And when Sheikh's figured out that, you know what, the Black Hat baby was old enough, it just became the Black Hat Knockout Football Tournament, of course. Everything we do must go under the auspices of the St. Lucia Football Association. So she's grown from, or probably omit, omitted, the Kashiv and Shanghai, and is simply black hat. Of course, again, just to go back in memory, go back in time, you would have remembered that the competition was at one point in time clubs. Uh, the likes of VSADC and Roots Ali, all those other clubs have taken part in, in black hat. And again, this, the move and the effort change from clubs and has become a community, a community-based tournament. And it's the reason why you have Grozile and Denry and Mabuya, no longer clubs, it's all about district. And just to say some more into it, it's only seven districts have won Black Hat. Out of all those communities who have taken part, you have 18 affiliates, but only seven. So there are a lot of communities that haven't won Black Hat and they want to claim stake into winning the in the competition, but strange enough, based upon the format of all those other years, it's a knockout. So which means that you have to win from day one, a win streak from day one. And um, it's tough. That's why a lot of footballers tell you that it is the ultimate prize for them. And um, I, can, I can see where they're going with that because, you know, when you raise that black hat or to say you have bragging rights of that, you have been a pass of one black hat, it's a big thing. This evening is the evening where we, we, we come together to really enjoy ourselves and really to raise the curtain and said, Black Art is here. You know, every year when Black Art comes around, is the People's Tournament. So everybody wait for, for, for Black Art every year. This is when you see the economical spin-off. It's a pity we don't have nobody from the government to really study the economical impact of this tournament. Because when you look at the barber shop, the hairdressers, everybody in the pedicure, the pedicure, the manicure, all the cures going on. The hotels, the vendors, the media houses. Everybody's making something from this tournament. This tournament is just not only black artists making money in this tournament. This is what you call a togetherness, where we bring everything together and we share like Santa Claus. So everybody get a piece of the pudding. So this is what really transpired with Black Art. The affiliates get more football to play. The business houses play a part of it. The people in the rural district get a chance to really recreate themselves in a nice way. And last year when we checked the statistics from with Mr. Orman Gil Francis, the crime rate always goes down when Black Art comes around. Flo has been afforded the opportunity to not only partner with Black Art, but as you can see, painted the town blue, we are the platinum sponsor for the tournament. Synonymous with our brand, some of the tournament's goals are to foster unity within communities, to keep sporting entertainment alive, and to nurture the talents and skill sets of athletes around the island. And as I sat at the table this evening, I'm very happy to have all the plans that are in place to really continue the development of athletes, of sports, of football in particular, around the island. We are excited to continue this journey with the Blackout family, and we would like to reiterate our commitment um, to the tournament's growth and development this year. WLBL, by way of Guinness and Till Booking, are the official stouts and dark bears of the tournament. Um, what I always like to speak about is that it's not for us, 
it is not a sponsorship, rather a partnership. And the reason I say that is because, like you, like Shannon alluded to, 17 years, almost 21 years, the brewery has been on board from day one. For us, what, the reason we say not a sponsorship is because sponsorship means that I'm almost giving and I'm walking away in a sense. But we like to think that we work together hand in hand. Um, the reason Guinness is still on board and will always be on board with Black Heart, um, I can give a perfect example that in about uh, three years ago when we did Guinness Street Football, we had a regional tournament. And then in this regional tournament, we had a spearhead handling all the teams from Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, being right here on St. Lucian soil. And then during that committee, they said to me that I need to get someone to kind of work with on this logistics. And I think there was no better person than the Blacker team, Sheikhs, the entire team that they have. And that was, the, that was truly a, a instance when you could have said that that partnership was made of more. And that's why Guinness will always be on board with Black Art. Thank you once again for allowing Sanusha Distillers to be a part of, 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 of such an event, of, of a tournament that has definitely grown from strength to, from strength, to strength. Um, and in addition, with the brands that we're coming on board with, um, I think it'd be remiss of me not to mention that as a corporation, as an organization, as a local manufacturer in St. Lucia, it is important for us to be able to give back to St. Lucia and activities that definitely reach out to the people of St. Lucia. Sports being one of the, the pillars of, of developing a young individual um, and getting them on the right track because a lot of the times you hear um, when kids are, you know, they grow up in sports, moving up to adulthood, they carry a lot of the teachings that, that actually, you know, is part of the development of not only the sports, but the human, the, the, the man or the woman. So for us to be able to support initiatives like that, that also gives the community an opportunity to, come to basically come together in a time of revelry. I think it's important for us to be able to do that as an organization and is one of the pillars for us at St. Lucia Distillers. So again, thank you so much. I am Daria and welcome to our holistic neuromovement wellness series. Neuromovement is an opportunity to explore the amazing powers of the brain for healing, restoration and increasing energy, vitality and overall well-being. We'll be going through a five minute weekly lesson to allow you to connect with yourself and explore neuromovement for vitality. We begin with lesson one. Please lie comfortably on the floor or on the grass. Gently bend both knees and put your feet standing comfortably spread about the distance of your hip. So for those of you at home, just as gently bend the knees. Cross the right knee over the left. And if this is difficult for you at home, you can just keep both knees side by side. So we'll use one example. And we'll begin by tilting slowly both knees to the right. So it's a slow and gentle movement where we tilt the knees to the right and then you slowly come back to the starting or neutral point. And then we tilt again to the right. And once you tilt to the right, always come back to the starting or neutral point. So you don't need to remain there. And then you tilt again. and slowly come back to the starting point and cross the legs, lengthen them and rest. And in the rest period, we use this opportunity to check in with the feeling of self. So now just gently compare your right side, the right leg with the left leg. 
So just notice what you feel within yourself. And please bend both knees again and put your feet standing comfortably spread. Interlace your fingers and place your hands behind your head. And slowly and gently, you're going to lift, just listen to the instruction, you're going to lift the head with the help of the arms. So this, this is not a sit up, it's not a crunch. When you lift the head, you gently bring the elbows closer together. And then when you come back down to your resting point, the elbows go again apart. So slowly and gently lift the, and lower the head. So you only need to do a small movement and the elbows come together. And then when you go down, the elbows go apart when you bring the head down. And the next time you lift the head, allow yourself to exhale through the mouth. And then when you come back down, you inhale. So when you lift again, you exhale. And now slowly stop the movement. Place your arms beside you. Lengthen your legs and rest. And again, this is the opportunity to notice what is happening within your body. I've already noticed that breathing has changed in Beatrice and Kizi. But pay attention to what is happening within you. So just notice how you're feeling now, how your body is lying in contact with obviously the grass or at home the floor so just pay attention to how your body comes into contact now with the floor and gently please bend both knees again put your feet standing comfortably spread interlace your fingers and place your hands behind your head and this time we're going to cross the right knee. So Kizi is going to cross the right knee over the left. And Beatrice is going to do the modified version where the knees stay uncrossed. But both participants will, be, will slowly tilt both knees to the right. And when you tilt the knees to the right, only do it to a point that it's comfortable for you. Because for the next couple of movements, it will remain to the right. So now, slowly and gently, you keep both knees to the right and you lift and lower the head with the help of the arms, what we did previously. So the elbows come together when you come up. Exhale when you come up as well. And inhale when you go back down. And remember to go slow and pay attention to your movement. So again, this is not a sit up. It's not a crunch. It's an opportunity to lift and lower the head easily. So feel what is happening within your spine within your back as you do these gentle movements and slowly stop this movement bring the lengthen the legs place the arms beside you and rest thank you for taking part in lesson one of our neuro movement wellness series
Thank you so much for staying till the end of the show. Hopefully you enjoyed all the little changes and everything that we put into today's show for you. Look out for the Neuro Movement series because this is going to be ongoing six weeks. So we have lesson two coming up next Thursday. So don't miss it. Of course, it's going to be very helpful. And again, we want a holistic show. So we want everybody to be happy, healthy, mind, body and spirit. And again, just remember that you make today better. So even if it's just a smile or saying hello or checking in on somebody, as simple as that is enough to help prevent somebody from doing something that is definitely going to impact everybody else around them. So remember, you are loved. We love you here at DBS, and I'll see you tomorrow where we free up for our Fridays right here on DBS This Morning. Mm -hmm.